Welcome to part three of MTBS's 3D Buying Guide. I'm Neil Schneider. Today, we're going to focus on gaming and stereoscopic 3D on PC. Now, uh, let me begin by talking about the software that makes this possible. PC games, unlike console, don't have to be 100% designed for 3D to work. Games are already rendered in volumetric 3D. The only problem is they have just one perspective. So it's not a true 3D experience because you need, you need a view for the left and right eye. Now, what stereoscopic 3D drivers do is while the game is being played, it captures the DirectX API calls, creates a second camera view where the second camera view doesn't yet exist, and passes this left and right view to the display. The end result is you get this full stereoscopic 3D gaming experience. So what we're looking at here is Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed 2. In this case, it's running with the NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision drivers. But you, there are additional options as well. In fact, the available stereoscopic 3D drivers on the market include DDD, IZ3D, and of course NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision. Now, there are two branches of, of available hardware. The first are LCD shutter glasses. So I'll give you an example. This is in, NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision shutter glasses. They've been on the market for, for a few years now. And they're branded and sold by NVIDIA. Now to get those glasses to work, you need to have an LCD panel or an LCD dis display that supports 120 hertz, and it also features a dual link DVI connector. This is very important. Now the manufacturers that support NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision include Acer, ASUS, LG, Samsung, and more. There's several manufacturers that support uh, this technology. However, as a consumer, we have to be extra careful to ensure that the monitors being released do support this. So always look for an NVIDIA certification or an official claim of NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision compatibility to make sure that it works. Another thing is you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card. The, those glasses will not work with AMD graphics card, o, cards, only NVIDIA. Now, the other side of the camp when it comes to shutter glasses, of course, is on the AMD side. And AMD has an initiative called HD3D. Now, uh, what they do is they don't actually sell glasses. Instead, they rely on third-party companies to sell glasses uh, on their behalf. And there's different types of manufacturers out there. You can visit the AMD site to learn who, who's doing what when it comes to AMD glasses. But something to be aware of is when you're buying a 3D monitor, uh, it's important that it has either display port connectors or an HDMI connector. Otherwise, uh, you will not have shutter glasses compatibility with AMD. And uh, an, a recent example is Acer, who announced a monitor supporting the HD 3D technology. And of course, there's more to come. This is a very new technology. It only was announced within the last um, two months or so. Now, as far as software support, um, the drivers aren't made by AMD. Instead, uh, AMD is, is strategically partnered with DDD as well as IZ3D. So you have two driver options when it comes to HD 3D compliant displays. And of course, similar to the way NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision glasses require NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, AMD HD 3D support requires AMD graphics cards. Now, um, the other branch, I've talked about LCD shutter glasses before, now I'm going to talk about polarized displays and glasses. This is a similar idea to uh, the technology used in movie theaters, where light is vibrated in two different ways, you know, partly for the left eye, partly for the right, and the glasses filter it down. These are an example of uh, polarized glasses. This is actually sold with the, uh, the Zalman 3D monitor. And uh, the, when it comes to PC gaming, at-home interlaced options tend to be interlaced. So what this means is 50% of the lines are marked for the left eye, 50% are marked for the right. So they're vibrated at two different wavelengths, and the glasses filter it down so each eye only sees one perspective, and you get this full 3D experience. Now, um, th there is a disadvantage to this because you lose 50% of the vertical resolution, but the advantage is they're somewhat brighter than LCD shutter glasses. So there's significantly le less light lost than you would with, with shutter glasses. At this time, uh, you know, Zalman is an example of an interlaced monitor solution. Hyundai has some solutions on the market as well. And when it comes to polarized, the big backers of polarized technologies include DDD as well as IZ3D. 
Now, another polarized option that does not require a loss in resolution is called a dual projector setup. This is like the dream setup where you have two projectors facing a silver screen. Each projector has a polarizer, and of course, you're enjoying uh, you know, your, your TV with polarized glasses. So that's like the dream solution if you have the space and you could afford the projectors. Now, recommendations for, for PC gamers looking to get into stereoscopic 3D gaming. Recommendation number one, get a powerful machine. Uh, the GPU is the most important part. Uh, if you're on the NVIDIA cap, I would recommend an NVIDIA GTX 470 or better. In the case of AMD HD 3D, go with at least an AMD um, HD 6850. 6870 is better. There's also the 5000 series. The other graphics cards likely won't work for you uh, within the AMD camp because it's important that you have the HDMI connector uh, or a display port connector. Not all those cards have that. So I would recommend the HD 6870 or better. Now, uh, for maximum compatibility when it comes to DDD as well as IZ3D stereoscopic 3D drivers, I would recommend avoiding multiple graphics cards like a Crossfire X setup when it comes to AMD. Instead, it's best to get a single graphics card that's very powerful. Um, it's just for compatibility reasons. You'll have more luck with that. Now, uh, similar to our recommendations when it came to HDTVs, Bigger is always better with 3D displays as well, and we're currently seeing a number of monitors come to market 23 inches, 24 inches, or, or, or greater. So try to get as big a monitor as you can afford when it comes to 3D. Now, next recommendation, marketing isn't everything. One of the trends right now is that different driver developers like to promote having hundreds of game profiles, um, and it's... You know, it's thought that people will look at the say, oh, you know, company X has 400 profiles and company Y has 450 profiles. So I better go with the driver that has more, more profiles listed. Well, the results when it comes to actually testing the games with all these different profiles is inconsistent. So it's best to judge compatibility by independent resources like mtbs3d.com or read through the MTBS forums based on results. They may, the users may have recommendations that the manufacturer doesn't list. Um, and also, I would actually, provided that the display has the compatibility, let's say an HDMI connector, for example, you have the freedom to, to buy more than one um, display driver at a time. So you could, in theory, have DDD, IZ3D, and NVIDIA stereoscopic 3D drivers drivers on your computer all at once for maximum compatibility. Next, next recommendation, research the glasses. Unless there's a special uh, glasses bundling sale, hold off on extra glasses until after the holidays. You may find uh, better deals then. And uh, last but not least, I brought it up earlier. Check out the MTBS forums regularly. Very informed community of, of gamers who are happy to help. If you have any questions when it comes to stereoscopic 3D, they're, they're there for you. So we'll, we'll uh, get more guys up shortly. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps with, with your shopping. And uh, by all means, share your comments. Thanks for watching.